People often ask me uh, about risk with breast cancer, uh, genetics about breast cancer, and I'm a geo oncologist. I don't treat breast cancers. I treat ovarian and other cancers. And so I'm very passionate about getting the message out that it isn't just about breast. When you're watching football in October, you see pink everywhere, but there's nothing pink about ovarian cancer. Um, it's not as prevalent as breast. Breast is 10 times more common than ovarian, but ovarian is twice as deadly. And for patients who have a BRCA mutation, breast cancer is only twice as prevalent. And so in the world of genetics, ovarian cancer is actually a more important gene in terms of its potency related to a genetic mutation. So it's important not to forget about ovarian cancer. And another reason people forget is they see a lot of breast cancer in the family. Many of the women have had their ovaries out preventatively and someone always becomes the first one with ovarian cancer, and then they go, why didn't we think of that? So it isn't just about the breasts, it's also about the ovaries, but it isn't just about the ovaries either, and it isn't just about women either. Uh, there's an interesting fact with BRCA2 mutation, for instance, which isn't as powerful for breasts, but men have a nine times higher risk of prostate cancer, a more aggressive, more deadly form of prostate cancer with a BRCA2 mutation. So another common error is to always talk about the women, the breasts, the females in the family, and forget about the men that can also pass this along, can also have these mutations, can also get cancers. And I can rattle off more lists. You know, pancreatic is also part of BRCA. There's a thing called Lynch syndrome where there's a whole list of cancers. So genetic mutations can predispose to more than just breast and ovarian cancers. And so for the general population out there, if you're lucky, you'll have a healthcare provider that has the broader picture and doesn't just think about BRCA, doesn't just think about breasts, doesn't even just think about the breasts and ovaries, that looks at the whole picture. Do you know that not every breast cancer patient needs chemotherapy? Now there's a way to decide if chemotherapy will benefit you based on the unique biology of your tumor. To learn more about the Oncotype DX test and how to discuss it with your doctor, click this button.